Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to continue our polymer series. However, we're going to be entering into a little bit more practical territory here by creating our first real sort of uh, useful element. So we're going to be creating a context list that allows you to have like a photo, uh, an email, a name, that sort of thing. And we're going to be building this out into all sorts of modular ways. We're going to show you how to loop over data, all sorts of cool stuff. So let's get going on creating our first first really useful practical element right now. So over the next few videos, we're going to be building sort of a contactless style application where we just have uh, basically a list of uh, people's names essentially. And what this is going to do is illustrate we're going to have a sort of complex element and we're going to have an element that contains other elements. Now we're going to sort of take this one step at a time. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and create a new element. Now we had our hello world, which I actually want to just take and sort of rework. So uh, we're going to rename hello world and this is going to be renamed to contact list. So like so, contact list is uh, hello world is now contact list. Now every single place we want to say hello world before we can now say uh, contact list. For instance, DOM module ID is now contact list and is is no longer hello world, it is contact list. Okay, and as you can see everything else sort of can be the same and let's go ahead and come to our index page and let's change this hello world. We're no longer looking for that. We're looking for contact list.html and we're going to be changing this element as well. So contact hyphen list and uh, one last place. Now the reason I'm doing this instead of just creating it from scratch is because we already have some nice boilerplate code that you know we might not need to necessarily rewrite. So now that we have this going here, Let's go ahead and open up this in the browser and make sure everything is working as it was before. Okay, so as you can see here, we have this loaded up and we had this basic data binding example working before. And so you can see that uh, we changed the hello world to contact list in all of the right places. So now let's go ahead and let's start writing this contact list. I'm going to go ahead first and get rid of these attributes here, first name and last name. And I'm going to go ahead and come into our contact list. I'm also going to get rid of any sort of style that we had in here. And I'm just going to give this some space so it's nice and easy to read. And now in our template tag, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this input and this h1 and h2. And we're going to go ahead and throw in an unordered list like so. Okay, so now that we have an unordered list, we can add some list items. In case you're wondering, I'm using Emmet here to get a little, um, you know, uh, just to get a shortcut here going. And so for each of these list items, I actually want to open these up a little bit. And inside of these, I'm going to have just an H3, which is going to be this person's name. Uh, so this is going to be, uh, this is going to be Scott. This is going to be Tim. This is going to be... Ben. Okay, so we have three names here. Now let's go ahead and just check our HTML to make sure everything's loading correctly. Okay, it looks pretty good so far. Let's just come in here to our, I'm going to throw in an image here. So I'm going to say image and the source is actually going to be from uh, these, these random user uh, photos. So uh, this is not a photo of me or anybody I know. So we can come in here and just say, change the number here. And let's change the number here. Okay, so we now should get three photos. Okay, we have three different photos and we have three different names. And now let's go ahead and add some sort of uh, contact. And I'm just gonna use the span tag and I'm going to say scott at leveluptuts.com. And these aren't necessarily going to be selectable with a mail to or something like that, but uh, just to just to be here is good enough right now. Okay, and I'm going to change this to be Tim and Ben. 
try to use any of these emails, by the way, they won't work. So uh, we, we're gonna come here and you can now see we have some decent sort of contact list going. It's, it's really basic, but we have a few names, we have a few images, and we have uh, just a basic list here. So let's go ahead and add some styles. In our styles, I'm going to just say um, any unordered list here is going to have a list style none. Um, the items within each list item are going to be display flex. Okay, looking pretty good. And um, let's see, uh, we have list item and we're going to have images inside of each list item are going to have a border radius. And that's going to be just 50%. And they're going to have a margin right of 10 pixels. And, and just like that, we can also say the H3 in here is going to have a margin right of 10 pixels as well. I mean, we could do this a little bit differently with Flexbox, but uh, this is this is good enough for me right now. So since each of these are 80 pixels, we can say uh, this is going to have a line height of 80 pixels, margin of none. And I'm going to change this margin right actually from 10 pixels. I'm just going to change it to 0 and then 0, 0 like so. Okay, and one last thing, we're going to want to have the span. We're just going to say uh, any list item span is going to also have a line height of 80 pixels. Now keep in mind the CSS is just really sort of quick and dirty to get this going. Uh, but as you can see, everything's getting lined up. And let's go ahead and add some more space here. We can do like something like 40 pixels of space. We got a lot of room to work with. Okay, and once more, let's go ahead and uh, add some more styles. So margin bottom, we'll give each of these uh, margin bottom 40 pixels. And we're going to say each list item, list item plus a list item is going to have a border top solid one pixel of, let's say something like 666, okay. So uh, if you aren't familiar with this, it's essentially saying any list item that's next to a list item. So uh, basically any list item except for the first one is going to get a border top. Okay, so uh, it looks like since we had a margin bottom on there, I actually want to maybe do something different than that. And we could just say 20 pixels padding all the way around. Okay, so really quickly, we now have this nice sort of contact list. And in fact, we could come in here to our HTML, and if we wanted to reuse this contact list in other places of our site, we could sort of throw this in here. Let's say we actually had an aside, right? And we put this contacts list in the aside. Now, what's interesting here is that if we were to come and say main.css, let's just add an aside here. Notice I'm not using a class or anything. This is just for an example. And if we say with 50% and let's come back to our browser and refresh, you'll notice something pretty cool. So here we're using this component and we didn't define any sort of width, but it's deciding to take up the entire I don't know why this thinks I'm in Romanian, by the way. Okay, so we use this component once and it's taking up the entire parent, right? And then we come down here, we use this exact same component, but because we're putting it in a, a side with a different container, uh, you can see that is in fact uh, taking the shape of the container. So you can see how uh, pretty powerful these things are. We can really build sort of reusable components that you can throw in different environments and it's going to be able to modify it. So as you can see, this is a really sort of dry way of doing things. Anytime we wanted to use this context list, we could simply just drop it in. Okay, let me get rid of that. We actually don't need this context list in here twice, but just like so. Okay, so now we have our context list, we have our data, and we're ready to start getting into a little bit more complex stuff using this Polymer application that we have going here. So what we're going to be doing in the next couple of videos is we're going to transform this 
list of contacts and we're gonna start using data from a JavaScript object to populate this instead of having to uh, repeat all of this HTML because right now this is not super dry. And then after that, we're going to get into making this a little bit more modular so that we can reuse components in all sorts of different ways. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.